Hello everyone and welcome to Health and Science channel. Today's topic is going to be about how to learn faster and retain information you have learnt. Learning is an individual process that differ from person to person. Individual learning styles depend on cognitive, emotional, and environmental factors. Don't compare yourself with others, method that may work for them might not work for you. Get to know yourself first and find out which technique works for you. Understand that there are three cognitive learning styles, visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. Once you find your cognitive learning method, apply tools within the plan that best suits you. Remember, even within each technique, there may be tools you will find useful, and some other means could be less helpful. What do we mean by this? Well, suppose you have identified you learn through visuals. Think of all the visual tools you can use to help you learn, such as mind mapping, highlighting titles and bullet points, use frames and connectors. Look at these tools mentioned here, all these tools could be beneficial, but some may be more helpful to a specific individual than others. Learning which strategy suits you best is fundamental to learning effectively. You can try each and see how you find the process and change until you find the best tool. This video will cover each technique and other general tips research to help you learn faster and more effectively. Now let's look at each cognitive style you can use to learn fast and retain information more effectively. 1. Active learning. Active learning encourages the brain to activate cognitive and sensory networks, which helps process and store new information. Instead of just passively reading or listening to lectures, try actively engaging with the material. This might include taking notes, asking yourself questions and putting as many concepts and words as possible into images, graphs, diagrams, or other visual representations, or teaching the material to someone else. This is a suitable method for visual learners. I have used this method for years and have benefited tremendously from this technique. The best note-taking methods for visual learners are methods that use pictures, diagrams, and colors. Organized notes are essential for these learners, especially if they are color-coded. A great example of a note-taking technique for visual learners is the mind map strategy. 2. Practice space repetition. Instead of squeezing all your studying into a single session, spread it out over time. This will help your brain to retain the information better. 3. Record lectures and then listen to them repeatedly. This is very useful for auditory learners. 4. Determine activities that help focus your mind, such working a handheld stress ball or chewing gum. Kinesthetic learners can benefit from doing simple physical activity while learning. Some people do it while excited and thinking and others it helps them focus and concentrate for unknown neurological reasons. In an article published in the 2019 issue of Applied Cognitive Psychology, Jins and colleagues argue that chewing gum may improve attention, alertness and learning. As you may know, kinesthetic learners are hands-on learners who need to walk through a process for the purpose of understanding its dynamics. 5. Drinking water during studying. Hydration helps to increase your concentration. Did you know to drink while studying can boost your brain power? In 2012 study found that drinking during a test could have a significant positive outcome on your grades. College students who drank during exams performed 10% better. So why do we need water? Water helps your brain cells communicate with each other, which is essential when studying. Water also clears out toxins and waste that impair brain function. Not to mention, it also carries nutrients to your brain to keep your brain healthy. In a 2018 study, scientists found drinking plain water is associated with decreased risk of depression and anxiety in adults. So if you are already anxious about studying, drinking water could reduce anxiety and allow you to stay calm during studying. The most important study is the British study of 2014, which showed that drinking water boosts your short-term memory and increases your attention, concentration, and other cognitive functions. So whenever you are reading a book, listening to a lecture or revising for an exam, keep taking sips of water. 6. Take a break and sleep between sessions. For optimal learning, 
it is important to give your brain time to rest and to process new information. Sleep promotes memory, recall, and retention of information. In addition to helping learning, sleep can help relearning. Sleep sandwich is a term that scientists often use to describe the fact that you need to sleep between sessions of study in order to retain information. Saving memories is one of the most important tasks of a good night's sleep. 7. Practice speed reading. While the brain is not a muscle, you still need to exercise it. Just like the muscles in your body, you need to exercise your brain regularly to keep it strong and working at its best. The more you use it, the more it is equipped to work at that level. Train it to learn fast. Initially, you might think it's not working, but over time you will be surprised how much you remember. Just keep reading and watch your progress. The good news is anyone can learn how to speed read. It's a powerful asset to increase your knowledge, enhance your learning experience or boost your career. If you can absorb information faster, you can learn more quickly. A study published in 2020 found that students who rehearsed speed reading significantly improved their comprehension performance. This was true even after controlling other variables such as gender, age, IQ, motivation, and prior knowledge. That's all for today. I hope you found the video enjoyable and informative. If you did, please consider subscribing to our channel to stay up to date on future content. Thank you for watching.